Hi, my name is uh, Georg Kutter. I am the senior author of the paper entitled Validation of the Pretreatment Nutrophile Lymphocyte Ratio as a Prognostic Factor in a European Cohort of Patients with Upper Tract Urothelial Carcinoma. Uh, the background of our study is the fact that uh, over the last few years there is an increasing evidence to support the role of the immune response as an important factor in human uh, cancer development and progression. Uh, especially there are some markers of systemic inflammatory response such as the CRP for example, um, neutrophile and platelet counts and several indices such as the neutrophile lymphocyte ratio that have been repeatedly associated with poor prognosis in various cancer types. For example, an elevated or high pretreatment NLR has been demonstrated uh, to be significantly associated with a poor prognosis in uh, renal cell carcinoma, also in ovarian and gastrointestinal cancer. Uh, regarding upper urinary tract urothelial carcinoma, the data are relatively scarce. There are a couple of relatively small uh, cohort studies from Asia. So the objective of our study was to val validate these findings here in a large Caucasian patient cohort. Uh, to the methods, we retrospectively evaluated data from 202 patients with non-metastatic localized upper urinary tract uh, urothelial carcinoma uh, who underwent surgery at our institution, the Department of Urology at the Medical University of Graz between 1990 and 2012. Um, patients cancer specific as well as overall survival were assessed using the Kaplan-Meier method and to evaluate the independent prognostic significance of the NLR um, Cox regression models were fitted for both endpoints. Now, uh, to the statistical analysis, I'd like to emphasize that there is nothing like an ideal threshold for this continuously coded variable, the NLR, in upper urinary tract urothelial carcinoma so far. So from a mathematical viewpoint, uh, we basically tested for all possible thresholds that would be able to discriminate um, between cancer-related death of the patient and survival on Cox proportional analysis, and this turned out to be 2.7 in our study. So basically we found 54 patients, or in other words, 30%, which had a low pretreatment uh, pre NLR, lower than 2.7, and the vast majority, like 70%, or 128 patients, had an elevated or high pretreatment LNR greater than 2.7. Now, uh, in the slide, uh, you see the multivariate analysis, where basically uh, it's demonstrated that only pathological T stage as well as the NLR were independent predictors of cancer specific survival, as well um, as in the other column uh, when you look at the overall survival data, um, invasive pathologic, so PT2 or higher stage, uh, as well as an elevated pretreatment NLR, uh, remained independent predictors. And this uh, multivariate analysis was. Uh, adjusted for comorbidities, we used two validated scores, namely the ECOG performance status as well as the age-adjusted Charleston comorbidity index, the CCI, um, and the results remained stable. In the next slide, uh, you see figures one and two. They demonstrate or show um, the cancer-specific as well as the overall survival. Um, uh, of the patient cohort, and it's clearly visible that those patients here who had an elevated pretreatment NLR greater than 2.7 uh, do worse than those with a low pretreatment NLR. Uh, so, in conclusion, we do believe uh, that this parameter or this index might become more and more important in future, uh, even if, of course, we have flaws like retrospective uh, data analysis, multiple surgeons involved, and so on and so forth. Uh, therefore, uh, of course, a validation of our data, um, most likely in prospective fashion in multicenter series, is warranted. Yeah? Thank you very much.